Hello, Group for Construction Engineering and Management here. We are composed of Montilo Teneza May, Conopio Ayan Francis, De La Cruz Kirsty Kyle, Lim Angel Bernadette, Lim Marvin John, Limpiado Chab Nile, and Patalinghong Elmer Jr. So for this video, we are going to talk about what is construction engineering and management, including its responsibilities, the importance of engineering and management, and its careers. So what is construction engineering and management? Civil engineers apply technical and scientific knowledge to construct infrastructures, use engineering methods to solve problems, and ensure its safety to the general public. Construction engineering and management is a type of civil engineering that deals with the designing, planning, construction, and management of infrastructures. Engineers work with architects to plan and design the infrastructures to be built. They consider essential factors that may affect the project such as the environment and location. Engineers oversee the construction of the project from day zero to the entirety of the process. They apply scientific principles into their methods to solve the problem that may arise. Civil engineers under this blur the line of construction and management. One must be an expert on the fundamentals of structural and construction engineering such as surveying, construction technologies, material testing and quality assurance, building systems, and design and analysis. But, they must be also knowledgeable in management principles and its applications that are important in construction projects such as statistics, law, economics, business, accounting, process analysis and design, safety, and cost engineering. Construction engineers inspect, examine, and analyze every aspect of building projects. Construction managers structure and facilitate budgets, set and maintain schedules, and oversee on-site safety. He also makes sure that everyone completes duties on time. Construction managers communicate with many people, including contractors, construction workers, architects, vendors, and clients. They make sure that the projects are completed safely, on time, within the budget, and to the client's specifications. A good construction engineer, engineer must have a strong aptitude for mathematics and science since they are the foundation for this engineering discipline. Thus, they must also be knowledgeable in applying the essential mathematical and scientific principles to solve the problems that may arise using engineering methods. Of course, a construction engineer must be creative by thinking outside the box to implement solutions or ideas that are applicable to any situation and any aspect of the project. In addition, he must be able to analyze any situation and make the right decision. Given the different working envir environments, he must also be able to adapt in both indoor and outdoor settings. Also, he must have the traits of a leader who makes sure that everyone does their work with near optimal performance. So, he must be able to collaborate with other people and communicate with them effectively. Most importantly, he must have the passion to love what he is doing. Nothing defines a job more than someone who hates what he is doing. To learn more about the construction, engineering, and management, here are the list of responsibilities of a construction engineer. These responsibilities may include the following. First is planning and overseeing the construction operations of a project. A construction engineer is responsible for conducting site layout, scheduling, managing materials, and building temporary structures. Second is designing both temporary and permanent structures. Third is a construction engineer is also responsible for checking and modifying plans and specifications for constructability, efficiency, and safety. Fourth is developing cost estimates and preparing bids. Fifth is solving job site problems, moving between the field and office. And lastly, a construction engineer is responsible for ensuring that the construction project is completed on time and within budget. Construction engineering and management 
is an essential element of the increasingly global construction industry since it handles a lot of the design work. Their construction projects are divided into four main categories. First is residential, which includes all buildings intended for private occupancy, whether on a permanent basis or not, such as condos, townhouses, apartments, and single-family homes. Second is building construction projects, which are said to be the most popular type of project. It is the process of adding structure to real property, like office buildings, large apartment building, shopping malls, and theaters. Third is the heavy construction, which is usually public projects and are focused on large government projects such as roads, bridges, dams, tunnels, and waterway systems. And lastly, industrial projects. This type of construction project usually involves very large-scale projects with a high degree of technological complexity such as nuclear power plants, chemical processing plants, steel mills, and oil refineries. In construction engineering and management, there is an option of either working in an office setting or out in the field. Oftentimes, it's a combination of both. Some of these engineers focus on the design aspect, while others focus on the actual build phase of each project. There are many career paths to choose from in construction engineering and management, but we will only be focusing on its main career paths. 1. Civil Engineer the country's infrastructure projects and systems are designed and maintained by civil engineers who build and rebuild, as well as maintain, airports, other large buildings, roads, dams, and other essential elements of the country's infrastructures. 2. Construction Engineer The related career of construction engineers tends to focus more on the on-site engineering management of projects, while civil engineers are often more focused with the larger design and infrastructure aspects. In some cases, a construction engineer will manage others who are working on the site. 3. Construction Manager Coordinating all the bases and subcontractors of the construction process from breaking ground to project delivery is a complicated task and it falls to construction managers to do it. Combining designing planning and management skills, construction managers are key to the success of projects. 4. Building Services Engineer Under the umbrella of CEM, careers in building services include project engineers who focus on various mechanical aspects of the construction or site. They may oversee heat and cooling, lighting, acoustics, and other aspects of building design that are typically left to specialists. These are areas that are rapidly changing and heading in interesting directions thanks to new technology and the adoption of green practices and renewable energy systems. There are a lot of opportunities for those who are in the field of construction engineering and management. Aside from working in the construction industry, those who have a degree in civil engineering can work in the business, management, and financial sectors. Studying this kind of field provides you with a range of technical skills valued by employers in various sectors. In the PowerPoint presentation, you can see the opportunities one can get with a career in construction engineering and management. Here are the requirements the construction engineer needs. The first group of the requirements is the licensing requirements. The licensing requirements include construction engineering degree, passing the fundamentals of engineering examination, and work experience and training in the company and passing the practical exam. The second group of the requirements is the knowledge requirements. The knowledge requirements include the knowledge of mathematics, natural sciences, engineering fundamentals, design and management and research methods, and understanding of laws, ethics, health, safety, cultural issues, leadership skills, economic 
decision making and the responsibilities relevant to engineering practices. And the last group of the requirements is the skill requirements, which include technical and management skills, risk analysis, costing, planning, and decision making skills, critical and logical thinking, time and people management, good communication, teamwork, and interpersonal skills, environmental, societal, health, safety, legal, and cultural assessment skills. Construction project planning and management skills, numeracy and computing skills, information presentation, interpretation, and assimilation skills. The ability to deal with most complex technical details and the wider demands of a project. Problem solving, research and designing skills, and professional and ethical production of engineering procedures. So these are all the requirements that construction and needs to be able to apply for job position in the construction company and to be successful.